the British music industry are turning on the male artists now. What's going on here? Brit Awards. Why are no women nominated for Best Artist? The answer is simple. The Brits scrapped their Best Male and Best Female Awards last year in favor of gender-neutral prizes. That's right. In the past, we were guaranteed to have a woman win an award and a man win an award. But they put them in together, and guess what? The men are better artists. They outperform the women. And so they get nominated, right? You've got to realize the reason they did this. They made gender neutral with the hopes that the women would win the awards and therefore the men wouldn't. This isn't about women, success of women. Women were already winning awards when the uh, categories were sex segregated. So women weren't, weren't losing. They weren't failing. So this is about stopping men from succeeding. You have to understand that's what the goal is for this, right? So when they made it gender neutral, it blew up in their face because men are better at it. The Brit Awards are a month away, but we already know one thing about the winner of the Best Artist Award. It will be a man. See? And there's no issue with that. If, if this is a meritocracy, if men are better at making music, then that's just the way it is. But when the nominations for the year's ceremony emerged on Thursday, there was a backlash over the men only best artist list. There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be. People are choosing what they want as an artist. They're, they're choosing the best music. He even says 1,200 voters choose. So people are giving their opinions on what they think is the best songs are, and the best albums are, and the men are dominating because they're better musicians. They're better songwriters. This is something you guys have to start admitting openly without shame. Men are better artists than women. As a matter of fact, I'll expand it. Men are better than women at just about everything. And that's not hyperbole. That's just the way it is. And this is proof of it. Now, this, matter of fact, they prove it themselves to even admit it. Indeed, a longer term imbalances are well documented between the success of male and female artists in the charts, but also in radio airplay, in festival lineups, and even in artists being signed by record labels. The, the people have spoken. When you, whether it's a man or a woman, if you ask them, hey, what's your favorite song or what's your favorite artist or album or who are you going to see in concert, it's majority male. So there's there's no there's no discrimination against women whatsoever. People, the men are just better at it. And the women and men who listen to music and love music end up choosing them. Now, here, concerns that the move risks sidelining female acts. Why would it, if you really believe men and women were equal to the task? Seem to have been eased when two women were nominated, uh, Adele and Little Sims. See, I'm talking, this one I'm telling you. They were... They were hoping that these women would win the awards and therefore no man would win. That was That's their hope, right? But in her acceptance speech, Adele pointed out, I understand why the name of the award has changed, but I really love being a woman and being a female artist. I'm really proud of us. Translation with her duck lips, uh, I won this year, but if I have to compete with men from now on, I may never win again. That's what Adele has just admitted. That's what her concern is. And she's concerned, or it's founded in reality. She may never win again. And this is men's shitty attitude. Those commenting in this year's list include charlatan singers Tim Burgess. But this year, all five nominees are blokes. 
one step forward and three steps back. So these guys, including Tim, enter their music uh, in a meritocracy on level playing ground field and men are chosen and he considers that steps back. So his steps forward is that uh, women win. What a shitty attitude, Tim Burgess, especially coming from a guy, right? Now, these trends based around the release schedule are a feature of the music industry, but if over time a pattern merges, in other words, if men keep beating women, then this puts an onus on the industry to deal with this important issue. See, it's important that men don't succeed, and they're putting the onus on the industry to do something about it. Now, the simple solution would be to bring back the sexual segregation and return things to the way they were. I don't think they're going to do this. I think they're going to hamstring the men. The head of the music industry body is already carrying out a major study to identify bar barriers that may inhibit more women becoming successful in music, told you so, so that there can be solutions that result in meaningful change. Meaningful change means men fail. Men don't win awards and what women do. That's what their meaningful change they're aiming for, right? And there doesn't need to be a study because they already have a study down here saying, showing that people in general prefer male talent. They prefer the, the artistry that men have made. So when they make this study, this study is going to make excuses for women, and they're going to make ex uh, reason to stop, start, I shouldn't say stop, start hampering men to stop them from winning awards. That's what's going to happen here. And of course, just to, to add this man-hating analysis, Mark Savage, he gives his uh, <laughs> list of what who he wanted and he said clearly my fellow voters didn't agree with all those choices they felt george edra's cuddly sing-alongs were better than charlie's scorching glitch hop see this is his attitude he's downplaying the the men's uh, achievements and pushing up the women's but these are his fellow voters people voted who for who they wanted and the men outdid the women the problem, I think, is more complicated than voters simply being sexist. He's blaming the voters, right? But there is sexism here. It's sexism from this guy against his fellow man. That's where the sexism is. The simplest, it, there's nothing complex here. The simple fact is, Mark, the men are better at it. That's why they get nominated. The men are better at it. It's very, very simple. And this sexist who hates men wants to stop that. Now, look, what the best artist shortlist reveals is a wider systemic issue. It's not an issue at all. Only 20% of artists signed to the major UK record label are female. That's women's problem if they lack talent. So they are already at a disadvantage. They aren't disadvantaged. They aren't disadvantaged. Everyone, you guys know that there have always been a great female artist. Successful in the past. Diana Ross in the 60s. Celine Dion, you know. Who's, who's the one who died not long ago? Oh, oh, yeah, Whitney Houston. There's always been great female artists that the industry put on top. So he's blaming the voters and he's blaming the industry for things we know is untrue. It's an open meritocracy and the men outdo the women because the men are better at it. And of course, here's this other person making excuses for women, right? She tries to blame baby making. Women at some point tend to have responsibility for looking after family. That's a lie. Women are, don't have responsibility at all in society. And that totally scuppers touring and the ability to focus on music. That's on them. People, both men and women, make a choice between career and family. 
And if you want to see, succeed at career, you do it. That's what you do. And women have been choosing not to have children just to enjoy the easy lifestyle on a regular basis. So this excuse does not fly. And then she goes on about sexism and discrimination. And there is sexism and discrimination against these people, against men. And that's what they're going to do. As you notice, they're going to go to the source, everybody. They're going to, uh, when it comes to the industry selecting people for record labels, they're going to start looking at their sex and saying, if you're a man, we don't want you. That's what they're going to start with. And this is going to hurt the people who love music. Because think about it. There's going to be men with all this potential talent for making great songs that will not be allowed in the industry. They will not be signed up because of this sexism against men. I mean, even this generation will admit that the music is getting worse, that the music of the past was better. Well, it's this is going to accelerate the problem and make it even worse because they're going to take people who deserve to be there People with talent to make great art are going to be denied on the basis of their sex. So this is what's going on. Remember, the purpose of them making the prize gender neutral is to try to deny men getting awards. It's to deny men success. That was the whole purpose of this. And we all have to suffer for it. And I'm going to end off saying it again. Men are better than women at just about everything. And especially at great art. The greatest work of art, whether it's been music or uh, architecture or sculpting or whatever, has always been made by men. And it's just that simple. It's just a fact. And you guys have to start saying it loudly and proudly. Otherwise, great art is going to die off. Thank you, everyone.